Hi there, Nathan here with Polysource Industries. Today we're going to be going over a stall test on a transfer pump. Uh, you can run this on your uh, proportioners for PMC, Graco, anything like that, hydraulic, electric. We will be going into more depth ones later on in the video series, but today it's just going to be with this IPM transfer pump. Okay, so first off, Using one of these regulators to regulate the air going in is kind of nice, especially if you're just starting out for the stall test. Uh, so you can get proper flow, especially if you've changed you know, any of your Y traps or anything like that um, recently. So I'm just gonna go ahead, hook this guy up. And make sure this one's closed right now so it doesn't start stro stroking on me right away. And I'm gonna zero this guy out, okay? So the gauge is showing at zero. If your gauge isn't working, replace it. It's just a good idea. It saves you a lot of time um, and guesswork. So now I'm gonna open that guy up, okay? So we have air coming in and open this one. So now I'm going to bring some pressure into my transfer pump, okay? and establish flow. Okay, so we have flow. And we can bring it up to a good working pressure. Now we want to close this guy off. Okay, now we're looking at this piston here to see if this piston on which stroke are we on? We're on the upstroke. So we want to make sure that on the upstroke that this piston isn't moving, okay? You want to leave it for about 10 seconds with no fluid going through with air going to the transfer pump. If this starts creeping on the way up, you're going to need to change your packings, okay? Once the 10 seconds is up, has it moved, we can open it up a little bit, get it to finish the upstroke, Goes to the downstroke, close that guy off, okay? Looking for the same thing. If this piston isn't moving down, stall test passed. If it is moving down, usually it's that lower uh, check ball, okay? At the very bottom in your foot valve. So you can just pull that off your transfer pump, give it a clean, inspect the ball itself and the seat, make sure there's no damage to either one. Throw it back in, try the lower stall test again. And if it's going good, you're good. If not, uh, you may need to start going into further inspection. Polysource Industries, your one-stop shop for all things foam and protective coatings.